Hey everyone, welcome to Boundaries and Ethics. My name is Sean Yeager. I'm going to be the instructor this semester for the course. And this is the virtual college version. So um, let's jump into it here. I just want to go over a couple things and I want to introduce, spend a little bit of time and introduce myself as well. Uh, I work in the field of corrections. I've been in the field of corrections for 10 years now. I started off working in a prison in Indiana as an AODA counselor and then transferred to another prison in Illinois and worked as an AODA counselor over there for several years before I decided to move into working in community corrections as a probation officer in Illinois. So I did that for, for uh, several years as well. Um, worked with primarily adults, adult offenders and then uh, had the opportunity to work for Attic Correctional Services as the Wassa Area Supervisor and um, I've been now, I've been with Attic now for a little over three years. I enjoy my work. Um, I get to see a different side of, of corrections. I deal with budgets and hiring and um, all that fun stuff. So it, I do miss the client interaction but I do greatly enjoy what I what I'm doing currently. So um, it's I've been in the helping field and and I enjoy doing what I do. And I think it makes a difference in not only individuals' lives but also helping to keep our community safe as well. All right, so we are going to be discussing all kinds of different things in this course, and so. The first thing you need to know is how the course is laid out. So when you first log into Blackboard, you're going to be taken to the announcements page. And this is where I will post any important announcements that I have concerning the course. Uh, typically, too, when I do an announcement, I will send out an email. or It automatically generates an email that notifies you that there is a, an announcement made that I, that I posted. So you'll get it in your email, your NTC email. And then when you first log on, it'll be here as well. So this is where you'll find the announcements. You can navigate over to the blue section over here for course information. It's very important that you take a look at the course information here because this is where you're going to find your syllabus. Um, you don't need to worry about publisher lab components here. Uh, Netiquette rules. All right, you want to take a look at that. Online etiquette rules, um, how to interact with each other and whatnot. Uh, welcome letter, let's give some details about the course as well. Syllabus is very important. Please, please, please review that because you actually cannot even access your learning plans until you, you um, take the syllabus quiz. And the syllabus quiz is based on the syllabus. You have to get 100% in order for the learning plans to be released for, for you to be able to access them. So make sure that you check out the syllabus um, and get a hold of me with any questions or concerns you have about it. Same thing with anything going with this course as well. Uh, grading, <clears throat> pretty self-explanatory here. All right. And then the different learning plans and the points possible. Uh, since this is a virtual college, there's not as many points, say, for instance, for discussion boards. Typically, with the regular online version, uh, discussion board posts are worth up to 20 points. and the virtual college version, they're worth 10 points because you're not required to necessarily interact with each other because everyone's kind of working at a different pace. So there, there are less points, um, but nonetheless, the assignments are very important. Um, you have book reports, class discussions, case studies. Now, the case studies and the learning plans are currently set up as group projects. And since this is a virtual college version, you're not, you don't need to worry about that. Um, you're just going to pick a case study and you're going to respond to that in the discussion board area. And there, I have videos for each learning plan that outline how to do this. So, don't worry if you if you missed that just now. Go to the learning plans and watch the videos, and there'll be an explanation for that. All right, so points possible. Right now, these these are off. So by the time you access this course, this will 
reflect the, the accurate number of points available. All right, so, and then the learning plan open and close dates, that's from the regular ver online version. Uh, you don't have open and close dates. You have the beginning of the semester and the end of the semester to get your work done. Periodically, I will email you or try to contact you if I feel like you're falling behind. Uh, please, please, please make sure that you are abiding by your plan of completion because it can be very easy to get behind uh, in these courses. All right, so that takes care of the course information. You come over here to the learning plan section, and I have the video already set up here regarding how you're going to complete your first assignment. You're going to um, complete the syllabus quiz as well as um, as well as completing the plan for completion. I got nervous there for a minute because I thought I was missing a section, but I have my instructor mode off so it's showing me what what every student would see so anyway so just watch the video if you have questions about it let me know there's a 10 question quiz that you have to take and you have to get a hundred percent on that you can take it multiple times and then once you complete that then you will have your learning plans released so you can access those these are the learning plans Okay, so you'll click on these and then it'll take you to a video that you can watch on the explanation of what's going on for that learning plan and what you need to do. Uh, you should have two books for this course, Issues in Ethics and the Helping Professions, 9th edition. And then there's a novel that goes along with this course as well called Lying on the Couch. And you want to make sure you stay up with all of your readings because at the end of the uh, this course, you're going to be doing a book report on the novel. All right, and then the discussion boards are here. You have the Q&A section. If you have a general question regarding the course itself or the curriculum or the book, I highly encourage you to post them here on the Q&A section um, because that way other students can benefit from from that question as well because I will check these and respond accordingly. Um, if you have a very specific question regarding your own grade or progress, uh, you can email me or call me and I'd be happy to discuss that with you. All right, so when you go into the learning plans, one of the assignments that you'll have to do throughout is a discussion board. And so the easiest and best way to do that is to actually navigate to the discussion board section, which is where we're at now, and scroll down to the learning plan because then that's going to give you a description of, of um, what your response needs to be about. So for instance, learning plan two, you're going to choose either A, B, or C to respond. You're going to write 200 words, no more than 500 words. Uh, these state that prior to the end of the learning plan, post a response to at least two different initial posts. You don't need to do that. Uh, this is a virtual college version, so you're just expected to respond to the prompts. And, um, and if you feel compelled to, to um, respond to one of your peers' posts, I highly encourage you to do that. The whole purpose of a discussion board is to generate discussion around the topics that we're discussing. So, uh, but it is not a requirement for your grade. All right, and then discussion board, that's we covered that. Your grades will be in this section here. This will tell you what grades you're, what assignments you've been graded on. Um, the instructor section will have my information. May, okay, I have to update this to include my information on here. So when you do access it, it will have my information on that. So if you have any questions, concerns, please let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the learning plans.